Hello friends, welcome to Daring Barani YouTube channel. Today we will be discussing about turbocharging and different types of turbocharging. So let us move on to the topic. Turbocharger. Turbocharger or we can call it a turbo. It uses exhaust flow from engine to spin the turbine and it will drive the centrifugal compressor. Thus it does not draw up engine's power. Okay. That means turbocharger using the hot exhaust gases from the engine to spin the turbine. Okay. Then it will drive the centrifugal compressor, thus it draws, does not draw any engine power. This is what happening in the turbocharger. So from the engine cylinder, hot gases will flow to the turbine and turbine, it will drive the compressor, centrifugal compressor in the say, from this, from there and thus it does not draw up the engine's power. Okay, this is what a basic working of a turbocharger. It uses exhaust flow from the main engine for the engine to spin the turbocharger and turbocharger that is turbine and it will drive the compressor and thus it does not draw upon the engine's power ok. There are constant pressure type turbocharging and pulse type, pulse pressure type system. These are the two types of turbocharging, constant pressure type and pulse pressure type ok. These are the two types of turbocharging, constant pressure system turbocharging. So constant pressure system turbocharging. So here Exhaust gas from all cylinders come into a common large manifold where pressure energy is largely dissipated. So, exhaust gas from all cylinders come to a common manifold where pressure energy is largely dissipated. So, here from the name constant pressure system. So, here exhaust gas from all cylinders come into a com common large manifold where pressure energy is largely dissipated. So, the gas will flow in a steady rather than intermittent. That's a constant pressure at turbine inlet. Here, the difference is the o all gases from different come to a common manifold where large pressure energy is dissipated and from there the gas will flow in a steady manner that is in a constant pressure at a turbine inlet ok. This is what the picture of a constant pressure system. This all from the, also the all cylinders it come to a common manifold from this in a steady manner they will go to turbine inlet. So, there will be constant pressure system ok. The turbocharger arrangement, here in the constant pressure system, the main what are the peculiarities or main we need to identify about the constant pressure system is no exhaust grouping is required here, no exhaust grouping is required and exhaust gas enter into a large common manifold and then to turbine. So, no exhaust grouping is required and exhaust gas come into large common manifold and then to turbine, here firing order is not considered, ok. No exhaust grouping, exhaust gas enter into large common manifold and then to turbine and to then to turbine and firing order is not considered. Then what are the advantages? Let us see. Advantage means they have good performance in high load. In high load they have good performance, their efficiency is very high. So efficient when their BMEP, brake mean effective pressure is above 8 bar. So they have in high loads they have good efficiency and good performance. More suitable for high output engine. So high output engine, the engine's output is high. So that type of engine this a constant pressure system that can, we can use. The, but there is no need, there is no need to group the cylinder exhaust in multiple or three. So that means here simple piping system. So there we, we don't need to understand that if it is the multiple of three or we need to group and all, no need for that, it is because here simple piping system. Now here like I mentioned no exhaust grouping is required. So good performance in a high load that is efficient if brake main effective pressure is above 8 bar then more suitable for high output engine then no grouping required, no exhaust grouping required and no need to group the cylinder in the multiple of 3 that means simple arrangement. Here high turbine efficiency due to steady flow of exhaust, high turbine efficiency then work transfer at turbine will be smooth here for turbine will work transfer is smooth and reduction in specific fuel oil consumption that means about 5 to 7 percentage, reduction in specific fuel oil consumption that means 5 to 7 percentage ok. Here turbine efficiency is due to steady flow of exhaust, high turbine efficiency is there that like I mentioned brake mean effective pressure is above is a 8 bar we can now high load carrying capacity then work transfer at turbine will be smooth then reduction in specific fuel oil consumption is about 5 to 7 percentage ok. Disadvantages let us see what are disadvantages when running at reduced speed when running at reduced speed and starting up low starting up low then available energy at turbine ok. When running at reduced speed and starting up low available there will be available energy in the turbine thus it supplies inadequately air quantity of scavenge pressure. So, it, it can apply it can only supply inadequate air quantity of the scavenge pressure. 
here what what it means is it's a kind of demerit or disadvantage means when running at a reduced speed it is slow low load or low speed and starting up low means energy available in the turbine will be also less so inadequate air supply will happen here so at, at low speed and load low load and this kind of efficiency will not be that much that's what here meaning the disadvantages in high load above that means brake 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 minority pressure is above if it is above 8 bar it, they have highly efficient this constant pressure system but in this case of when running at reduced speed and starting up low then available energy in the turbine will be also low so this it, it can only supply inadequate air quantity of the scavenger pressure then no need for efficient scavenging and combustion so here here there is we need it's necessary for no need for no need doesn't mean that it's a wrong statement here we need it is there is it is necessity we need efficient scavenger and combustion and it requires scavenging assistance like the auxiliary blower and all we need and poor response in changing load poor response in changing load so here efficient scavenging and combustion is required we need external assistance that means so scavenge assistance that is auxiliary blower we need and poor response in changing load okay so here means necessary we need scavenging and combustion if we need scavenging assistance that means auxiliary blower and poor response in changing load okay pulse system of turbocharging here pulse system of turbocharging we, here we can say that three groupings we can say that here there is a common manifold from there it is in the pressure pulses we are changing to the supply to the pulse system of turbocharging these are the main difference of the pulse system of turbocharging when compared to constant pressure system okay still the pulse system we can say that it makes full use of high pressure and temperature of exhaust gas during the blow up period so in the pulse pressure system they they maximize the use of temperature and pressure of the exhaust gas during blow up period so they makes full use of temperature and pressure during the blow up period while rapidly opening the exhaust valve and exhaust gas leaves the cylinder at high velocity as high pressure air energy is converted into kinetic energy thus creates pressure wave or pulse in exhaust okay while we rapidly opening the exhaust valve we will open the rapidly open the exhaust valve so exhaust gas leaves at a cylinder at high velocity as pressure energy is converted into kinetic energy so this will create a pressure wave here what happening is when we open the exhaust valve rapidly the exhaust gas from the cylinder also leaves from very high velocity so that as pressure energy is converted to kinetic energy the pressure waves or pulses hap happening in the exhaust so these pressure waves or pulses are led directly to the turbocharger these pressure waves or pulses are directly led to the turbocharger inlet okay here what we are mentioning is about this type of pressure type system turbocharging this makes full use of high pressure and temperature of the exhaust gas during blow down period by rapidly opening the exhaust valve exhaust gas leaves the cylinder at high pressure and velocity it will convert it into kinetic energy and pressure waves are created or pulses is created this pressure waves or pulses are led directly to the turbocharger exhaust pipe these are so constructed in small diameter and is quickly pressurized and boosted up to form pressure pulse or wave exhaust pipe these are constructed in small diameter the diameter is small and quickly pressurized and boosted up to form pressure pulse or wave okay pressure waves reach to turbine nozzle and further expansion takes place here the pressure waves reach to turbine nozzle and then further expansion takes place okay here here what I, we are mentioning is about the exhaust pipe and all their construction their diameter when you look at the construction the diameter is they are quickly pressurized and boosted up to form pressure pulse wave here from the exhaust pipe diameter and all the construction and all they made such a way that it is quickly pressurized and boosted up to form pressure pulse or wave that is the construction of the exhaust pulse and pressure wave reaches turbine nozzle and further expansion takes place so here exhaust pipe is designed such a way that it they can make pressurized very fast pressurized or pulse waves very fast when this pressure waves reach a turbine nozzle and further expansion takes place and turbocharger arrangement in the pulse system so let's see here the arrangement of turbocharger means here interference exists between the exhaust and scavenging among cylinder so there will be an interference link between the exhausting and scavenging among cylinder to prevent this cylinder are grouped with the connections of two or three exhaust pipe yes here we know that in constant pressure system there is no grouping external grouping but no exhaust grouping but here in the case of pulse type system we need exhaust grouping means there will be, there is a interference exists between the exhausting and scavenging in a cylinder so to prevent this the cylinders are grouped relatively with connections of two up to two more exhaust pipes 
this is what I have in the case of turbocharger arrangement and these pulses are arranged within a small diameter to boost up pressure and in a short strike length to prevent energy loss and these pipes are grouped like I mentioned small grouping 2 3s 2 3 pipes so these pipes are arranged in a small diameter so that they can they can boost up the pressure pulse in a short time okay and the number of exhaust branch depends upon our firing order number of cylinders and turbocharger disease so number of exhaust grouping that we require to the turbocharger inlet depends upon the firing order number of cylinders and turbocharger disease okay these pipes are arranged in small diameter and they boost up pressure and pulses in a short time period of time and number of exhaust branches depends upon firing order number of cylinders and turbocharger disease and there mean advantages let's see what are the advantages advantage means here for pressure type system at low load and low speed it is more efficient constant pressure it is for highly efficient at high load above brake mean efficiency pressure above 8 bar but in the case of pressure system here they are more efficient at a low load and low speed its efficiency is uh, low load and low speed then it is more efficient that means brake mean efficiency pressure is less than 8 bar okay here there is no need for of assistance of scavenging and exhausting so there is no need to assist of scavenge bomb and blower at any load stage here in other case of constant pressure there is auxiliary bomb is a necessity a scavenging is required but in the case of pressure system there is no need for scavenging and all in no, any you no know, blower is required because for respective any load change and all and it is highly responsive to change in engine condition giving good performance of speed of all speed engine so this here pressure pressure system means they have highly responsive sensitive to engine change giving good performance of engine at all speed up so they are highly sensitive and they are highly responsive to change in engine condition and they are providing good engine performance in of all speed of engine and high available energy they are high available energy at the turbine they will have high available energy and good turbocharger acceleration that's one of the advantages means here at low load and low speed it is more efficient and still because when more efficient when the brake mean efficiency pressure is below 8 bar then here we don't need any assistance of scavenge pump and blower at any load change and here it is highly responsible to change engine condition giving good performance of all speed of engine here high available energy at turbine and good turbocharger acceleration is here taking place and this advantage we can say is the exhaust grouping is here exhaust grouping is complicated and different sets of exhaust pipes are needed for spare that's one of the thing we can say here exhaust exhaust grouping is complicated and different sets of exhaust pipes are needed i need to for spare and two stage two stage means it's a kind of another system is a combination of both pressure type system and constant pressure turbine and pulse turbine is two stage turbocharger system here on the figure we can say pulse type system and constant pressure turbine and all so let's see here high pressure exhaust from one cylinder would pass back into another cylinder during the low pressure scavenging period thus adversely affecting the combustion efficiency okay here what it mean we mean is high pressure from the one cylinder that means from the high pressure from the one cylinder uh, high pressure okay okay mm. high pressure from the one cylinder will pass to it will move to the other cylinder during the low pressure scavenging period thus there will adverse thus it will affect the combustion efficiency okay this means there will be two turbochargers of different stages we will place in series and support example a high pressure stage on pulse system and low pressure stage on constant pressure system thus this will affect the scavenging efficiency thus reducing the efficiency of combustion efficiency also this is used in diesel engine requiring very high degree of supercharging which cannot be obtained by single stage turbocharger okay this two stage turbocharger system is used in diesel engines which require high degree of supercharging which cannot be obtained by single supercharging okay here what two stage they are mentioned is about here high pressure exhaust from one cylinder would pass to back into low pressure of the another cylinder so this will affect the scavenging efficiency and finally they will have reduction of the combustion efficiency okay this method means there will be two turbocharger which is placed in series for example a high pressure stage of the operating of the pulse system and low pressure stage of the constant pressure system constant pressure system then this type of system two stage system is used in diesel engines require very high which is requiring very high degree of supercharging and which cannot be obtained by single stage super turbocharger so here we are topic stopping the turbocharger as part 1 we will be continuing in another video about part 2 and all thank you